With that introduction out of the way, let us proceed to part one of the Batman Hush commentary. First of all, I just want to express how happy I am with the opening sequence of the movie. Right off the bat, you have the Warner Brothers logo, and then Daffy Duck jumping out from behind the logo and doing all sorts of loony things. Just look at all these crazy and impossible stunts he's pulling. With realistic CGI, and even Pixar animation, you don't get characters pulling these stunts. Why? Because it would look HORRIBLE if CGI characters did stuff like that. The rating of any CGI movie that had characters pulling goofy stunts would be immediately converted into a horror film unfit for child viewing. It looks natural with a hand-drawn character pulling these dance moves. If a CGI character did the same, it would look like unnatural contortions, and you would feel like calling the hospital to get the character some medical help. Unfortunately, they have started pulling those stunts in live action with the aid of CGI. You know that Artemis Fowl movie that came out on Disney Plus some time ago? What about it? Here is a snapshot from that movie. See this guy dropping his jaw? Oh my goodness! That looks horrible! Should we call an ambulance for him? I'm surprised his jaw is still attached. What an eyesore abomination! Now look at the picture of Genie dropping his jaw in the original Aladdin movie. Do you see the difference? Indeed I do. Genie just looks naturally silly and cartoony with his jaw dropped. I don't feel like needing to call a hospital to make sure he's alright. Boy, what a difference some good old-fashioned hand animation can make. If I may, I would like to burn the movie known as Artemis Fowl. This abomination must be purged from the earth, for I sense an evil force within it intended to dumb down the populace. With all respect, Lord Rajon, I don't think you will be able to purge Artemis Fowl from the world so easily. People still have the right to watch it if they wish, even if their decision to do so is ill-informed. You can certainly set it on fire here on this channel to vent our displeasure. Very well then, Artemis Fowl, by the power of my cleansing fire, I shall burn you to ash! <laughs> Be gone, and torment humanity no longer! Now that we have that settled, let us continue. After Daffy Duck pulls his dance moves, you have the DC equivalent to the MCU opening screen. While I would say that I like the MCU opening screen better, the DC opening intro has its strengths also. You get to see the major members of the Justice League before the screen zooms out to show many more DC characters. The story of Batman Hush itself begins with a view of Gotham City. Just look at that beautiful cityscape. I love the artistry that went into depicting the skyscrapers. And that bridge zigzagging through Gotham is illustrated with very smooth contours. As the camera zooms closer in on the scene, you can hear sirens in the background, reminding the viewer that Gotham is very much a crime-ridden metropolis. Finally, we reach the building where the story kicks off. I don't know what the building is called, but it looks nice enough to host a corporate board meeting. In fact, that's what's going on inside. In the building, we see Bruce Wayne walking through a crowd of upper-class gentry. Everyone present is surprised to see him, and no wonder. Mr. Wayne is normally absent from such assemblies because he's Batman a secret that is known to very few people. At any rate, Bruce brushes past the rich folks in order to gain the privacy that he needs to talk to Alfred and Nightwing on his earpiece. Bruce asks Alfred if there are any updates in criminal activity. Alfred states that there are no updates, and then encourages Master Bruce to take it easy for the night and talk to someone in the crowd. It's not like Batman has to watch over Gotham City every night, after all. At that moment, Bruce spies Selina Kyle, aka Catwoman, in the crowd and enjoying a drink. When he mentions her presence, Alfred comments that perhaps Selina is just there to enjoy herself. 
After all, it had...